All right, hi everyone. My name is Charlene and this is Springbrook Creek. It is a waterway that flows through South King County in the towns of Kent and Renton. It flows into what remains of the Black River. The Black River was once the outlet of Lake Washington until the ship canal was opened through Lake Union over 100 years ago. This remnant river then joins with the Green River in Tequila at a point where the Green changes its name to the Duwamish River. This map shows you the entire Green River watershed, and this red circle shows the lower Green River sub-watershed where Springbrook Creek is located. Historically, Springbrook Creek was heavily forested and supported healthy runs of Chinook salmon. Its headwaters are still so pure that the city of Renton uses it for drinking water. Now this is a map from 2001, but it still shows pretty clearly what this landscape looks like in this part of the watershed today. Most of the orange color you see in the map indicates that the area is covered by high urban density. In this area, which includes the towns of Tequila, Renton, Kent, and Auburn, you'll find co large corporations like Boeing and Amazon, which have enormous sprawling complexes and acres of roads and parking lots. Springbrook Creek was forced into straight ditches and culverts, first as the area's forests were cut and it was converted into farmland, and later as it was developed into residential, commercial, and industrial areas. Its lower stretches are now overrun by invasive species and polluted by stormwater runoff. No salmon have been seen in the creek for decades. A pumping station sits across the mouth of the creek and it must literally be pumped out to allow its waters to join to the Green River downstream. Thank you, Charlene. And hello everyone, my name is Hannah. And so King, South King County, where Springbrook Creek is located, is also one of the most ethnically, racially, and economically diverse areas of the county. This map shows that communities in the south part of King County also suffer from higher health risks that are linked to pollution in our air, lands, and waters. So enter our project, which is called the Lost Urban Creeks Project. In 2017, Puget Soundkeeper Alliance, which works to protect clean water, water in Puget Sound, started working with Unleashed the Brilliance, a youth mentoring program. The Land Conservancy Organization, Forterra, and the Snow King Watershed Council, which trains water quality community monitors, also joined in on the project. Support for the project has come from King County and from other public and private funders. Our goal is to raise the pro profile of Spring Brook Creek so that it is no longer a creek that is lost among the parking lots and warehouses of Kent and Renton. It is a creek that deserves our attention and protection because if it is polluted, it is contributing to pollution on the wa larger watershed and to the larger community. This is not a creek or a community that we can just sacrifice and write off. While we work for the restoration of the creek, the Lost Urban Creeks Project is also focused on youth development. Unleash the Brilliance, which serves youth in South King County, where Springbrook Creek is located, started by working with youth out of truancy courts, trying to re-engage them with their own education. The Lost Urban Creeks Project offers youth an opportunity to learn new skills and gain knowledge in urban stream restoration and renewal. We learn about how these urban waterways reflect the health of our own communities, and we understand that the role that we play in the protection of both. So there are five areas to our project. Number one is organizing educational programs and developing youth skills. Number two is monitoring water quality and getting out into the field to conduct investigations. Number three is representing and presenting the project to the community and to local decision makers. Number four is conducting restoration and stewardship activities. And number five is promoting equity, social and environmental justice. Now, here's what we accomplished. Local, municipal and county staff have received our water quality data reports. And these are being used to inform and building pressure for more restoration efforts in the watershed. 
We created and shared a video of our water quality results during the pandemic for local city and county staff as well. And after COVID struck, we had to remove our outreach online as there is nice a nice trail along part of the creek in partnership with the company geocaching we developed an adventure lab which is a phone app hide and seek tour of the creek this allows us to share information on springbrook creek's history and situation with the public we've also removed over 2200 pounds of garbage in springbrook creek and through beach cleanups and kayak patrols we removed debris along other shorelines and waterways in king county as well our work is also attracting others to look at Springbrook Creek and work to improve the water quality in the watershed. What's unique about our project is that the work that youth are doing in the project is valued and the project organizers want the youth to know that there is value in this work. So all the youth in the project are paid interns earning $15 an hour for the time that they contributed. Transportation and food support is also provided to try and eliminate any barriers to participation. Youths are primarily middle and high school students, but there is no time limit on their participation, and we've had a few college students in the project as well. Our project tries to identify and bring environmental professionals of color who can act as role models and mentors by acting as speakers, leading workshops, tours, and listening sessions. The project has a power and resource sharing commitment. It is governed and informed by a youth advisory council that meets regularly to help guide and provide feedback on the, on the program. We have a vision that every urban waterway has its own community advocates that speak for their restoration and protection. To support that, a story map was created about lost urban creeks that is on Puget Soundkeeper's website. This will grow with time to showcase the efforts of different groups working to protect their local waterways, particularly in urban areas. We are now in our sixth year of the project, which is con constantly growing and changing, but we hope it can serve as a model for what can be done in other watersheds. For more information, you can visit the links on the screen or email luc at pugetsoundkeeper.org or even follow us on Instagram. Feel free to contact us and we hope that you will check out our project and our story map about lost urban creeks.